So I'm installing the CarPod Go, the Android CarPlay, and this thing's already dope. I have everything installed except the backup camera not mounted yet because the mounting stuff that it came with is a little sticker and you could put it on your license plate if you want, but I did not want to do anything to my license plate. What I'm going to do is install this bracket I ordered. I got it on Amazon. It looks like it should fit the camera that the CarPod Go came with. Again, CarPod Go. This really, really cool thing. I'm going to show you how everything works too. So this is just getting everything installed. I just had a, I got this little bracket. Camera's going to mount on here. I'm going to put this on my license plate. I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's go. So you can see, this is your backup camera that comes with the CarPod Go. You have a couple options of how you can mount this. You could use that sticker, stick it right on the license plate. Uh, you could drill some screws through here, through your license plate, but I don't like to do any of that. I would like to do as least drilling as possible. I found a hole here in the truck that allowed me to get everything through without drilling any holes. Uh, so that was pretty beneficial. What I'm going to do right now is use this bracket, put it on the license plate. I'm going to take the bracket that's actually on the camera and put it the camera onto here. So let's do that real quick. It's hot as heck right now. It's like 100 degrees outside. I don't even know why I'm working on cars right now, but got to get stuff done. So what we're going to do is take the license plate off first. And then I'm going to drop the camera down. Hopefully it fits somewhere it does. Nice. Bring the camera through here. Now you might be wondering how I got it into the cab. Let me show you that real quick. I did wire into my trailer hitch uh, to get the reverse uh, connection or the reverse sensor. So it knows when you put the car in reverse, the camera pops on. I'll show you that shortly. Again, if I go to reverse, you can see there is reverse. Let's get you over here real quick. And here's where I connected into. You could connect, and I'm going to give you a link in the description below of how I did this wire connection. This is a really good sturdy connection that's never going to come out. Uh, so as long as the wires are good, you're going to have a good connection. And make sure you look for a link in the description below uh, to figure out how to do this connection. And when you go watch that video and you figure it out and learn all that good stuff, make sure you comment on that video. Let them know that Scotty's Hobby sent you over there uh, just so that they know. Somebody's supporting them. And I don't know them, but it is... A really good way to do a connection the best way you're going to find to be able to do a connection so we are going to feed the camera up over the license plate don't forget to put the bracket on but maybe we should put the camera on the bracket first now while you're watching me install this CarPod Go on my truck, make sure you hit that like button and share the heck out of this video, please. When you're all done with this video, make sure you use the links in the description below to purchase this really fancy thing to upgrade your ride. And make sure you check out the video library to find videos on maintaining your vehicle and keeping your vehicle on the road. I wanna help you get the most life out of your vehicle. Who likes car payments? Not me. And who likes to take your car to a mechanic? Not me. So check out the video library, let's go. Now, if you need help trying to figure out how to find the connector or where to wire, like I wired this one in, how did I figure that part out? Or where did I figure out to wire those two? There's a few things. Let me show you how I did mine. Now, over here on your tail light, I'm going to use my power probe. I'm already plugged into the battery or connected to the battery. Going to remove the tail light. This is my reverse light. Got an LED reverse light in there already. And so I'm going to pull this out. So using the power probe, ground, ground. Now I'm going to put the car in reverse. Now it's in reverse. So now you have your light. 
You see, reverse lights on. Ground, power. I figured out that the green wire was the actual power wire. So that's the wire that you want to connect your remote wire. That is the red wire coming off of the camera. That's the remote wire to turn the actual dash cam on or the uh, screen on the dash that is. So that's why I followed it down, went to the trailer hitch and I just tie it into there. Just so you know, that is how I found it. You can see here is where I ran the wire that's going under the truck. This was already here. I have this plastic cover off. I just found a hole that actually went under the truck and I fed it underneath where you can't really see right now. Uh, but it came out the bottom over here Here's the actual power wire or the wire going to the backup camera Ran it so you couldn't see it. It's all under my dash Came out pretty nice actually And you can see I'm in reverse right now and That's the garage my tripod and everything I actually love how this thing works out. It works out really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and put it in park. And it shuts it back to the normal screen. We could go to my normal camera. Or the actual screen of the phone, that is. Sorry, not the camera. But that's pretty much it on getting the reverse camera set up. Again, if I go to reverse. You can see. There is reverse. So we got everything hooked up, got it mounted up on the dash. If you don't, I use mine, you can see it's mounted on the window. It also comes with a pad to stick on the dash if you want to mount that to your dash, which is totally fine. But I like how it mounted on my window. It works out perfectly for me. Uh, and also rest it on the dash so it doesn't wiggle around. I wasn't having that problem, but I know in the past with my phones I've had that problem. So just to avoid that, I put it on there. If you have a 12 volt switching source on your cigarette lighters or your power source right here, that's perfect. Anytime you turn the car off, your system will turn off. But in my case, I have constant 12 volts. So on here, there's an on off switch, pretty convenient. So anytime I get out of the car, turn it off. Uh, but I also take this thing off and unplug it and hide it so somebody doesn't steal it. So the CarPod Co will turn on automatically. It's not 503. First thing I like to do is go to your FM setting right here. FM 87.7, dial your radio to 87.7. You can't Bluetooth from the gizmo to the actual radio. So get that set up first. The audio output of the CarPod Go is gonna go FM. It's going to be an FM transmitter. Now to get from your phone to here is Bluetooth. So you're going to Bluetooth. It's going to power off for a second. Turn back on. Here we go. I don't know why it does that, but it just seems to do that. Every, when you get everything set up, it's just fine. Now FM transmitter, Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth. Right here, the PNDF75A. I'm already connected, so I'm going to connect, turn my Bluetooth on, all good now. Now everything from here is going to work. It's going to, everything that's going to be on my phone is going to be now up here on this screen. I don't have to touch my phone anymore throughout driving at all, which is really, really nice. I really, really like that. And we go over here. So after you hook up the phone on your Bluetooth got to go back into your settings and the connections do the FM transmitter so that's going to choose your output source as of right now what are we gonna do what can we play we'll go to iHeart and let's see anything that we play on iHeart or whatnot is now gonna go through or whatever your audio playing choice is whatever you use I use iHeart so now everything's going to come through here. That perfectly suit your preferences and they have everything you need. So that's going to go through the stereo and everything. This thing's really easy. Now the backup camera, we got everything set up. When you put it in reverse, it automatically goes to the reverse cam right here, which is super convenient. I really, really like that. I have it set to where you can barely see the edge of my bumper. So if you see any gap right there, you know you're close and you're not going to hit anything. All in all, the CarPod Go 
system, screen, backup camera, FM transmitter, all that stuff. This thing is really easy to install. It really took me about two hours to get everything installed with a little bit of know-how. Uh, and I showed you in the video, or might be another video, of how to find the actual reverse wire that you need to tap into. But there will be a link in the description below to on how to tap into those wires when you do find the proper one. I did end up buying that extra bracket uh, on Amazon. There will be links in the description below for that one as well. Uh, so I didn't use the actual brackets that came with this camera or with this system, even though it did come with a number of brackets. I really just like the bolt stuff on. I don't like to cut too much or like stickers. I don't have too much faith in stickers too much. Uh, they always seem to fall off, especially in the summer when it gets really, really hot. It's about to be 110 degrees the next few days. I'm pretty sure something like this would fall off. Can't guarantee it, but it might. There are a couple little screws in here uh, that might go through your license plate or maybe your license plate frame if you want to go that way as well. But I did buy that extra bracket. Other than that, the CarPod Go system, the Android CarPlay, everything, it works out really good. I've been using it for about four days uh, and I really, really like it. So hopefully you do too. And if you do, let me know below or if you don't like it and let me know why if you don't like it. So if you don't like it, just let me know. Just let everybody know. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have something that you think I should try out, go ahead and comment below. Uh, if you think I could do something better, go ahead and comment below. If you like this video, please like it and share. That helps in the algo a lot. So hopefully it did. Hopefully this video helps you out. I'll see you guys in the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.